Hello and welcome back to the another episode of Daily News Analysis for IAS for Limits 2025. It is 25th of July today and we are going to discuss the seven important articles which were most relevant for your exam. And also the newspaper, they were filled with the uh, budget related topics. You know, we discussed many of them and we have to discuss much more which which would be which i would feel necessary for your exam or which which would be the necessary for your exam we will definitely definitely take them but today we have to take these seven important articles which are a little bit different from the budget so that it will give you some breathing time and you know divert your mind from the budget area before we start our discussion, I would like to introduce uh, this initiative to you. Every day we upload these two videos. In, in the first one, we discuss the daily current affairs. We discuss the most important articles which are most relevant for your exam. And in the evening session, we take up the daily quiz in which we discuss the questions related to the current affairs and you know previous year questions. So before we start our discussion, I would like to request you guys, please do subscribe the channel and share it with your friends you know by sharing by subscribing it gives us uh, the motivation to work more hard on it so without any delay let us see what are the topics today which we have to discuss the first one it is about the immunity of the president and the governor and it is the question asked by asked in supreme court that is it absolute uh, can we you know challenge uh, uh, the can we challenge uh, the actions of president and the governor in the uh, supreme court so this is the question which was asked it, it is related to the article 361 uh, so we will discuss about it then we have indian council of medical research they are uh, ready to transfer technology for tb detection this is the another topic which we will discuss then we have sc suggestion suggest, sc suggests forming uh, for uh, forming panel to hold talks with farmers, you know, we had seen the recent uh, agitation in uh, FAB, so it is related to that. Then we we have another topic, uh, right to shelter is a fundamental right. We, we have seen issues in Uttarakhand, you know, the railway issue, it is related to that and the Supreme Court's decision. Then we have RBI, it has tightened cash in, uh, in pay, pay, cash pay in pay out norms. It is related to the payment banks. Then we have the grasslands in Gujarat to host Cheetah from Africa. And finally, the India committed to free trade agreement with the UK. Starting with our first uh, topic, it is immunity for the president and the governor. You know, we have Article 361. It has four subclasses. In the subclass two, we have what does it state? It states that no criminal proceeding shall be initiated or continued against the president or the governor of a state if any court in any court during uh, his term of office. So, uh, what does that mean? Well, okay, when the governor ka time chal raha ya president ka time when they are in the office, they cannot no criminal proceedings can be initiated against them. You know. Uh, ki jo bhi unka action hai, they, they, we have they, there is immunity for their actions but you know there were questions asked in the supreme court what if they do it with the malafide intentions their intentions are not good their intentions are bad can we review those uh, actions of the president or the governor so with this the supreme court ruled uh, that with the modified and intentions by the governor with the bad intentions by the governor we can review it they enjoy immunity but if they provide it uh, uh, with the bad faith then they can be uh, reviewed Here, proceed criminal a this is about the reviewing the their intentions if their intentions are bad in any work that they are doing with respect to that work, those intentions on the basis of what the people will feel, what the courts will feel, how the arguments would be submitted in the court. According to that, the judges will decide whether they would review the decision of the, or we can say decision of the governor here. So uh, the Supreme Court says if the intentions are bad, then their decisions can be reviewed. 
अगर हम देखें इसके बिना इन यू एस ए द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन यू एस ए रिगार्डिंग द फॉर्मर प्रेजिडेंट ट्रम्प दे सेट देयर वुड बी नो क्रिमिनल प्रोजिक्यूशन अगेंस्ट हिम अगेंस्ट द वर्कस हेज डन सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइज हेयर शुड वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड दिस ब्लैंकेट ऑफ इम्यूनिटी जो दिस ब्लाइंड बिलीफ ऑन द ऑफिस दैट कि इनको कोई मतलब इनको क्रिमिनल प्रोसीडिंग्स नहीं की जाए now the you know the author here uh, asks the question is it unethical is it unconstitutional because chahe president or governor koi bhi kaam kare hum uske sath koi hum unko nahi puch sakte kya ye ethical hai is it constitutional matlab ki kya ye represent karta hai democracy ko ki agar koi insaan kuch bhi kare irrespective of its post and they are not questioned by the people or the uh, government or the judges so in ye iska matlab ki this was the uh, this this story in nutshell about this or why this was in the news matlab ki why it in why uh, this is in the news right now because of the we had seen uh, why it came up we had many examples with uh, respect to this we had a case of a woman worker in west bengal where she was Uh, uh, you know alleged allegedly she she said she matlab ki she said that she went to the police station and uh, uh, said there that the sitting governor he had harassed that woman but the governor uh, but the police station they to, uh, they represented they presented presented the article 361 and they did not file any fir against him so with that the woman went to the supreme court and she asked for your questions she asked what is the uh, there should be the clear def- definition of the limitation of the immunity where the immunity it should be defined very well what comes under the immunity of the president or the governor and what is excluded from that it should be clearly defined what is uh, what is the criminal uh, acts uh, with respect to the uh, uh, governor or president and what are not what are uh, the uh, the what are the acts which he does in the work uh, field and what are his personal acts it should be clearly defined and you know agar then the another question which was asked by that woman she said that ki agar mujhe wait karna pade till he uh, expires his office or till he he resigns from his office or till he retires to us time tak kya mujhe insaf nahi milega i will jo mera insaf that would be my justice would be delayed and that is also unconstitutional that is against the fundamental rights agar mera justice delay ho jayega aur teesri baat jo usne kahi thi because in that time this man is very powerful the seat they hold president and the vice president they are very powerful they can alter the evidence easily so there are chances that the uh, alteration of the evidence could happen so we, in this regard the three judge bench has uh, asked government's view point in this matter ke government kya wo unse mashwara le rahi hai ki what should be kya karna chahiye three bench supreme court judge three a three bench supreme court matlab three judge supreme court bench they are uh, asking the point of view of the government with respect to this matlab ki the harassment case of the woman worker in the west bengal also agar hum dekhenge jo ye about the immunity of the governor and the president while framing the constitution this question was asked uh, by the uh, eminent person he said that he raised the same questions his name was h v kamant he raised the same issue about the immunity and also you know against the state if we will take the example of state versus kalyan singh and others this is related to the babri masjid in which they, he said the case is against the governor let him uh, provide immunity of matlab but supreme court said high court said ki this case is against the governor matlab ki let him provide the immunity till he works matlab jab tak usse kaam us tak us waqt tak isko immunity de after he is not governor uh, the case will start so isi regarding matlab ki isi matlab ki there is a time gap till the start of the that case so till that time the uh, the evidence can be altered or anything can happen so uh, this was about this article about the immunity for the president and the governor 
very simple article not you know there is not that much technical information it so just remember the article 361 clause 2 it talks about the immunity for the president and the governor of a state in any court during his term of office could from uh, criminal proceedings then we have you know supreme court talks about the malafide inten intentions of the governor if they are we can review them then we take took the case of the uh, usa supreme court uh, the highest court in usa they uh, regarding the formal uh, president donald trump then we discussed the, the you know uh, we asked this question whether we can, we should give this uh, blind we, whether we should put this blind faith in this office is it unethical is it unconstitutional then we saw the case of a woman worker who was harassed by the governor allegedly harassed by the governor in west bengal we discussed about that and finally we saw different cases one was state versus kalyan singh and others in which we saw that the supreme court said that the governor complete his term and after that the case will start so this was about the first article now moving to the second article it talks about the indian uh, it talks about the indian council of medical research and tb detection technology you know agar hum tb ke bare mein dekhenge around world people suffer from tb takriban bahut sare log har saal marte hain because of the tb you know agar hum dekhenge jitne puri duniya mein marte hain usme se 1 by 3 aur 1 by 4th cases are from india itself and half a million people die every day 140 uh, people die because of the tb ab tb matlab we have medicines for that the science and technology has uh, is improving so much but why still and this tb it was det- detected way back so till now we should had achieved the technology which had curbed t- tb at all but why are still why is still tb uh, you know why is it still Uh, uh, killing so much people killing so many people what could be the reason so agar hum isko dekhenge ye it is matlab ki ek story hai matlab ki ye it is in the tb itself matlab ki jo uska nature hai for example agar hum uske dekhenge tb ke we have two phases one is latent phase and another is the active phase jo ye latent phase hai isme matlab ye aap maniye ki asm asm asymptomatic एसिम्टोमेटिक रहता है मतलब कि मतलब कि टीबी इन्फेक्शन इज देयर बट मतलब कि द सिम्टम्स आर नो वेयर विजिबल और ये मतलब कि अंदर से अपना काम स्टार्ट करना होता है बट वन थिंग वहां पे है कि एट दिस टाइम इट डज नॉट सेपरेट टू अदर पीपल बट ड्यूरिंग वंस इट रीच टू द एक्टिव फेज व्हेन द पर्सन स्टार्ट्स कफिंग फॉर द लॉन्ग टाइम then at that time this disease starts to spread at a very fast speed it is said that a person transmits it at least to 5 persons and you know despite if we see the population if we see the crowd in our country so this is very you know very dangerous for us aur agar hum dekhenge iska jo drug regiment hai of the tb it is the 6 months course we have for the 2 months uh, one कोर्स देन फॉर अनदर फोर मंथ्स मतलब कि अगर हम देखेंगे ये छः मंथ का कोर्स रहता है बट अगर हम अपने लोगों का एजुकेशन लेवल और देखें उनकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग देखते तो हम एक चीज पाएंगे आफ्टर ईटिंग दिज मेडिसन फॉर सम टाइम दे विल स्टॉप क्योंकि उनको लगता है कि हमें फर्क हो रही है बिकॉज ऑफ द सिम्टम्स एक्चुअली वट द पीपल आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व द सिम्टम्स मतलब अगर उनको लगेगा कि अब खांसी नहीं आ रही है अब दे आर फीलिंग बेटर so they stop eating the medicine they think the, the tb is over, over but uh, unfortunately the bacteria is there aur jo wo kam hi dawa khate hai because of that bacteria it gets resistance to the uh, to the uh, medicine and that is very much dangerous agar wo bacteria then uh, spreads to other it takes much more time for a patient to recover and that is more deadly and that is more cost effective फिर वो आसानी से ठीक भी नहीं होता है और इसी के रिलेटेड टू टी वी वी हैव टू यू नो वी हैव द टू टारगेट्स वन इज द यू एन टारगेट विच इज टू थाउजेंड थर्टी दे वन इट टारगेट इज टू एलिमिनेट टी वी बाई टू बट अवर्स इंडिया टारगेट वॉज वेरी एम्बिशियस टू एलिमिनेट इट बाई टू 
but we are still way behind from it it is nowhere we can eliminate it by 2025 but still working on it so now jo iska ek aur issue aata tha wo testing ka aata tha ki it it was very difficult to, to difficult to test and you know aur dusri baat very cost effective matlab ki agar bechare gareebon ko hota they were not that much uh, ready to uh, do the testing of this disease aur wo kya karte the self medication karte the agar thodi si khansi aati to seedhe koi se sirf lete aur सेल्फ मेडिकेशन करते बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो द टी वी जो उसका रजिस्टेंस है वो बढ़ गया है तो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट द इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ मेडिकल रिसर्च दे हैड ब्रॉड द क्रिस्पर केस बेस्ड टी वी डिटेक्शन सिस्टम ये क्या होता है यू नो इट इज द किट विद कॉस्ट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव रुपीज टू डू द टेस्ट यू नो वेरी इट वुड बी अवेलेबल इन द प्राइमरी हॉस्पिटल इन द विलेज वेरी इजी टू ऑपरेट एंड यू नो इट कैन चेक मनी मतलब कि तकरीबन 400-500 टेस्ट्स को ये मतलब चेक कर सकता है इन ए डे इन इन ए पर्टिकुलर हॉस्पिटल सो दिस इज अबाउट द क्रिस्पर बेस्ड टीबी डिटेक्शन इट इज अ कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव इट इज ब्रॉट अप बाय द आईसीएमआर अबाउट आईसीएमआर इट इज द गवर्नमेंट ओन्ड टेक्नोलॉजी वी शुड नो दिस वाज अबाउट द आईसीएमआर एंड टीबी डिटेक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी going to the another topic it's a, it is talks about the supreme court suggestions uh, suggests forming of panel uh, to hold talks with farmers you know three bench judge they heard uh, the representation representative of the government of india if we would see what was the context of this you know in feb in february we had seen that the former agitation started and they were against the uh, they, they had their demands for example they want statutory status for the Uh, msp uh, and you know state of government you know they wanted uh, they wanted to come to delhi but state of uh, government of haryana uh, placed uh, restrictions to the farmers matlab ki they unhone restriction they did not allow them to uh, come so then in this case the high court uh, the case went to the high court and high court said that uh, ma agar ki tum ek hi sath bahut saron ko nahi jaane doge but at least let few to travel ताकि ये रेस्ट्रिक्शन न हो यू कैन नॉट रेस्ट्रिक्ट पीपल लाइक दैट सो विद दैट रेस्पेक्ट द इट दिस द केस वेंट टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट और सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने दे आस्क फ्यू क्वेश्चन टू द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट दे सेट डिड यू ट्राई टू टॉक विद द फॉर्मर्स आपने इन जमींदारों से बात की आपने डिड यू ट्राई टू टॉक विद दैम डिड यू यू नो द मिनिस्टर यू सेट जो मिनिस्टर आपने भेजा यू नो यू कॉन्ट सेंड द मिनिस्टर्स फॉर द टॉकिंग फॉर द मीडिएशन बिकॉज मिनिस्टर विल टॉक ओनली फॉर द गवर्नमेंट दे विल नॉट टॉक फॉर द फॉर्मर्स यूनियन सो इन दिस रिगार्ड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सजेस्टेड दैट देयर शुड बी अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए न्यूट्रल पैनल हु वुड बी एक्सपर्ट इन दिस इशू एंड दे शुड टॉक विद बोथ द बोथ द साइड्स एंड ट्राई टू ब्रिंग सम कंक्लूजन to it also dusri uh, news is me thi after uh, you know from the after uh, see, uh, uh, after the budget was announced many farmers uh, went to the opposition leaders they want, they want, they went to the opposition leaders and you know told them to take their cause in the uh, parliament you know defend them and uh, they told them to matlab to talk about the statutory uh, status of the msp so this was about the sc suggestions of forming uh, a, a separate panel to hold the talks with farmers what the supreme court actually suggested that there should be a separate panel it should be very much neutral matlab ki as a neutral look it should talk to both of the sides and you know uh, try to represent it in the best way uh, discuss the both the sides and try to negotiate with both the sides but the, uh, to the uh, with the government and the farmers union so this was about the sc suggests uh, about this article Moving forward to the next article it talks about the right to shelter is a fundamental right you know why this uh, is in the news because of the uttarakhand in apil pil was uh, in uttarakhand uh, was introduced in the uttarakhand Uh, 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 high court you know because there was illegal mining on the uh, river banks 
uh, and this mining was done by the people living on near the railway uh, railways of the Uttarakhand. In 2016, the railways Jyotha, they also got involved in this PIL and they said that these people are holding their land. They are holding the, the land of the railways and they went to the high court. The high court said, please do vacate them. It is 2016 or 26. Please do vacate uh, the, these people. And with that, uh, and they provided the documents. See, this land does belong to us from the 70s itself. Or if we see the people's side, there are people living there. And it is not easy to vacate them. And they have also the documents. They had brought this land from some people from somewhere from different people so they also had documents this case went to the uh, high court first and high court ordered that the land belongs to the in december 2022 the high court said that this land does belong to the uh, railways and the people who are occupying this land they have to vacate this but because of this you know uh, if they are not ready to vacate they, they then the force should be applied but you know, it is not easy to vacate 50,000 people who are living there. And, you know, it is the case of the humanity. So in this regard, the case went to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court stayed the order of the High Court. Supreme Court said that it is not viable to eliminate, 50, to, you know, vacate 50,000 people at a time within this, this time gap given by the High Court was seven days. And the Supreme Court said it is not that much easy to vacate 50,000 people in seven days. It could harm and it could harm them and it has the humanitarian angle here. So the Supreme Court stated it. And then the case was going on in the Supreme Court and finally the Supreme Court said in the next to the railways in the next four weeks, give me information uh, two kinds of information. One was how much land is required for the railways, and the another was how much how many people will, will get affected by it. And also, can we provide the shelter to them, as the shelter is a fundamental right of a citizen, so of a person. So this was about the right to shelter is a fundamental right. It comes under the Article 21, right to life. So this was about this article about the, the right to shelter uh, article now moving to the another article, it talks about the rbi titans cash pay in payout norms you know there are we have different kinds of banks we have payment especially talking here about the payment banks they are about payment banks we should know that they are not allowed to provide loans and credit cards now the question arises where from they get the profit where from they get the revenue so they, there are many sources to them, but here the point which is needed for us is they get their revenue from through through the remittances from the people. So in the remittance sector, अगर हम देखेंगे मतलब कि ये बात आज की नहीं हो रही आप दस साल पहली वाले लीजिए जब when it was brought in, तो then the workers did not had the agriculture workers they did not had bank accounts and they were working in different states. And it was not easy for them to transfer the money to the uh, to their family. Agar unko money sab transfer karna hota, to they had to go to the to or unke pas bank account bhi nahi thi, so it was not that much easy. To wo gar bhi nahi ja sakte the, tab tak to unka pura kharcha khatam hota. So in this regard, the RBI brought up this cash in pay uh, pay in pay out uh, you know initiative in which uh, in any payment bank they can without any bank account they can go and you know uh, give the cash there and their family they can take their cash at the home and you know for this the limit for the money was 5000 for day and for month it was 25000 only so nahi ho sakta tha. now the question arises this was brought up for the people for the poor people but it can be misused by the rich and ill-minded people. For example, those who, who do money laundering, black money, they can do this, they can convert their black money in the white money. In this regard, and we had RBI has found many cases related to that. 
with this regard the rbi brought up the new norms that at if you don't have the right now if you don't have the contact if you don't have the bank account at least you will have some contact details you those contact details to us and we will you know we will check those we, we will counter check those contact deta details we will see whether the number given here is yours itself and then only we will uh, transfer this money to your required destination so this was about the rba titans cash pay in pay out norms now moving to the another article it talks about the chitra uh, chita reintroduction in india it talks about the grasslands in gujarat to host cheetahs from africa we had seen in the earlier cases for example earlier in kono national park had their 20 cheetahs from south africa and namibia were introduced you know but at the initial phase when we saw they were not able to withstand the change in the environment and many of them died in first six weeks itself but the situation got started to get better and you know many of them got used and you know if this year itself we will see 12 new cubs were born so now it is said that this project cheetah it is now a success it is moving towards the success it is a kind of a successful project uh, the number of cheetahs had started to increase in the kuno national park now ab wo kya karna chahiye now government wants to reintroduce the cheetahs in the another park from the africa which is gandhi sagar sanctuary in madhya pradesh in in the next upcoming years new more cheetahs would be reintroduced and also the government is going to set up the central zoo authority it is proposed to be set up at bani in gujarat which would discuss in the this authority would discuss about the breeding or wo conservation of the cheetahs and also ek issue aata hai yahan pe with respect to the reintroduction of cheetahs there may not uh, we may not they may not have the special amount of prey to eat so that would be also an issue which would be discussed uh, by the authorities before bringing uh, in the cheetahs so let us see what will happen in this article which you have to remember matlab ki remember about the kono national park remember about gandhi sagar sanctuary and also remember about the zoo Uh, central zoo authority the uh, set up in bani in gujarat these are the things which you have to remember in this article and they are relevant with your prelims exam now moving to the uh, last article of today's discussion it is about the india committed to free trade agreement with uk you know we have seen their regiment change in the uk the government changes and often in such countries once the government changes the policies also change but we had seen the representatives of the uk government they visited india and you know pm and discussed about the free trade agreement with india you know we had discussed this discussion is going on from very long we had already 10 rounds of talks between india and uk with respect to the free trade agreement and you know uh, the pm said that we are ready to continue talks on the fta there would be more discussions about it we are discussing fta with not only with uk with uh, european union and other countries also so this was a very small article and this much information was needed and now the update uh, which uh, is very much important you know upsc it is uh, related to everybody around us uh, upsc is to implement biometric authentication you know we should know that okay, there are many cases of fraud examination or wo sab matlab on the authority of the exam wo matlab ki kya exams theek ho rahe hai uh, is there undue disadvantage to the students kya matlab ki mal practice ki ke cases ho rahe so with this regard this uh, supreme court the upsc is to implement biometric authentication to isme kya hoga ki a candidate has to give his aadhar details and with that the qr code will come and uh, that will help in uh, you know matlab ki wo check karega whether the candidate sitting in the examination center is the right person and also there would be cameras around uh, uh, you know cctv cameras surrounding in the examination halls to check the actions of the people in the hall so this was small update this may be implemented this year in the upcoming year so let us see and watch what will happen with this we conclude today's discussion i hope you would, you would have liked it i hope you would share this video with your friends 
and i hope i definitely hope that you would subscribe the channel because once you subscribe the channel it gives me the content it gives me the satisfaction and it motivates me to work more hard on making such videos on delivering you the information which is required thank you for staying with me thank you very much god bless you